All right, so for science today, we are still continuing to talk about animals of Georgia. You, everybody needs to go back in and do the STEM scopes um, connection video about animals of Georgia. The three, the three questions from the video need to be re-answered. Nobody made a hundred on that. Okay, so go back in the STEM scopes website and redo that. I gave it back to a lot of you, a few of you anyway, a lot of you have not completed it. But anyway, what you're going to do today, we are still looking at how um, animals use adaptations to survive in their habitat. You're gonna come over here, you're gonna click the link and watch the camouflage brain pop video. And then you're gonna read the article, which I'm gonna read aloud now, which habitat, um, and this is about the, the tortoise. Which habitat would you choose for the gopher tortoise? The gopher tortoise is a reptile that burrows deep into the sandy soil using its wide flat claws. It eats primarily plants and herbs that grow low to the ground. It also requires a lot of sunlight. It cannot live in a thick forest. Which habitat would meet its requirements? Mountain, Piedmont, coastal plain, swamp, or ocean? Why? Animals that have adapted to the sandy soil trees. I'm sorry, this is the coastal plains. Uh, animals that live in the coastal plains. Animals that have, that have adapted to, to the sandy soil trees and shrubs of the coastal plains region are the ghost crab, water moccasin, which is a snake, and the green tree frog, the state amphibian. Okay, the right whale is the state marine animal that lives in the Atlantic Ocean. These whales need the warm, shallow waters of the Atlantic Ocean of the Georgia coast for giving birth to their calves, their babies. Right whales can get as large as 18 meters or 60 feet long in length. They feed on krill, zooplankton, small, small crustaceans, and other ocean creatures that can filter into their mouth. Right whales have adapted to adapted or um, can fit in to cold weather farther north by regulating heat loss. They have a very thick blubber layer up to one and a half feet in, in depth. That's how deep it is. Um, that keeps the heat in and, and, and it prevents it from escaping to the outside. In addition, the right whale's body is relatively compact. With less surface area, more heat can be kept inside. Furthermore, whales also have slow breathing rates, which adds to their ability to maintain or keep body heat without expelling it via warm air to the environment. When they are in the warm Georgia calving waters, the right whales get rid of excess heat by releasing it through the blood vessels close to the surface of their skin. Interesting. Okay, the white-tailed deer is a mammal that lives in many habitats in Georgia. Its hooves allow it to walk along rocky terrain and its fur helps to keep it warm in the winter months. The deer has a unique digestive system that allows it to eat many different kinds of foods like woody plants that other animals cannot digest. They typically live in heavily wooded areas, but that is changing as humans develop the land in many deer habitats. Okay, now the black bears. Black bears have thick fur to live in cold mountains. And I'm gonna zoom in on this one. They have also adapted or can fit into the Piedmont coastal plains and swamps that offer a plentiful supply of natural foods and trees and thickets that they can escape to for security. Bears are considered om omnivorous, which means they can eat plant and animal food that is available. The majority of their natural diet is made up of or consists of berries, fruits, acorns, grasses, and animal matter, including insects and mammals, even deer. During the winter, these food sources may become scarce, which means they uh, are in short supply. A bear's response to colder winter weather and the lower food supply is to go to sleep or hibernate for a period of time during the winter. Bears will go through a period of dormancy where their body temperatures will decrease and they will go into a deep sleep um, where females give birth to their young during the winter months in a den or a cave, okay? So 
So the exit ticket, you're going to name one animal and adaptation for that animal you learned today. And you can pick one of the animals from the, um, from the picture. You can do the right whale, the white-tailed deer, or the black bear. So tell me the name of the animal and the adaptation that the animal um, that you learned about for that animal today. Okay. And I'm going to stop sharing now. But those are the directions.